Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Johnson and this is my beauty channel where I share all of my beauty tips with you. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it now and join in on the conversation. And ladies, let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, so this title is, I'm sure has a lot of weight to it. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, what are you doing, Nicole? This is crazy. But I will tell you, I am getting plastic surgery on my face on Friday, which is the 29th. It is not too far away because I have had this cyst, growth, lipoma, whatever you want to call it, because we don't know what it is yet, in my eyebrow, and it is growing. And my last photo shoot really proved that. And I will take you through a series of pictures of kind of seeing where it's where it, where it's gone from and where it is now. So the last photo shoot I did, which was June 4th, was really eye opening for me. And I that's all I could see in this 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 photograph in this last scene that I did. And it it the lighting has a lot to do with it, but the shape and the form and the look of this growth now is just where I can't ignore it anymore. Now, the reason why this has been like a 15, 20 year ongoing issue where it's like, oh, is it growing? Is it not? It's right in my eyebrow here, which is such a weird place for it to be to begin with. So I have this, you can see it. If I bring you closer, if I push it up, you can see all up here. It almost has like a whiteness to it. I don't know. Um, it's growing lower now too, and it almost feels like it's growing on top of itself because it's going wider. So this is where it is. It really bulges um, when I'm, you know, when I'm looking down. It it actually my my eyebrow is very different from it because it's pushing out my eyebrow. So my eyebrow is a little bit thinner in this area here. But a lot of people can't see it when they look at me. But yet when you look at the pictures, you really do see what's going on. So this isn't a vanity issue what a lot of people might think it's actually when something grows on your body that shouldn't be there you need to take it off so the reason why i waited so long is because i had so many different plastic surgeons tell me so many different things i might i must have seen about eight different plastic surgeons from ocular surgeon from a specialist that only does neck up surgery and one plastic surgeon at the very beginning of me researching and consulting told me that he would take my forehead down to take it out I was in my 20s, I thought that was way too invasive. It really scared me and I thought, no, I'm not gonna do that. Then the next plastic surgeon's like, oh no, you just cut it and it pops out. And I thought, how can that be so different? Then I went to another plastic surgeon that had me do MRIs to make sure it wasn't connected to the bone, it wasn't connected to the brain. I was like, this is getting really involved. Then most of them said, well, wait until you're older and we can conceal the scar. Wait until you do like a bluff and we can kind of like conceal it. Or I'm thinking, gosh, what happens if I never do that? You know, and then, I had another one tell me that, um, well, what did everybody else say? I said, well, they didn't really want to do it. He's like, I think we should not do it. <laughs> so it's the hair, it's the scar, it's the nerves. They're all like, you know, all over the place. So it's been very frustrating for me because I know it's not normal to have something grow. And it's very interesting that I'm a beauty blogger and I do videos and I have this, this issue right in the middle of my face. So I'm getting it taken care of on Friday. I'm sending really great vibes. I, I'm, I'm not nervous about it because it is something that has to happen. And I'm being proactive about my health. Like I have told so many of my followers through the whole IVF journey is about being proactive and researching and going for it. And, you know, not just taking, you know, like I did wait, I have waited and it is growing now. So that, that is a small issue, but, um, you know, I just think that plastic surgery, if you are doing it for other reasons other than having something removed or skin cancer or what have you, I think that it's amazing. And I think you should stay true to yourself. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And those are my personal, that's my personal opinion. I, I think that it's wonderful if doing eye surgery makes you feel better about yourself or doing lip injections or doing Botox or doing filler, whatever it is, ladies, that is your decision. And it's for no one else to make an opinion about. And I just want you to know that that's my stance on plastic surgery. Now, granted, I'm doing this because I need to get, I need to have something, I can't have something growing on my face. Like it's gonna be a bigger issue down the road, but you know, I do, I think that's great. If one day I feel like, oh, I wanna have my eyes done, you know, then I have my eyes done. It doesn't matter and there's no secret about it. So I just didn't know how this was gonna affect my filming and 
my videos for you. I mean, today I was actually gonna batch out a bunch of videos and I did actually the smoky eye tutorial for you. And guess what? The cameras weren't, weren't rolling. So I lost all of that. And um, so this is gonna be my, my last video before I have the surgery. And I will see you when I am recovered and I am back to normal. So until my next video, I'll see you later.